Hi everybody! This is my rose gold inspired Valentine's Day look. It's very girly, but at the same time it reads as kind of neutral. I think it would be great for a date night. Um, you could also put a darker pink or a red lip with this and rock it for an evening. But it would also work in the daytime. So if you'd like to see how I created this rose gold Valentine's Day look, just keep watching. Okay, let's make a start. First, I'm going to put on my EOS Lip Balm in Sweet Mint. Keep everything nice and kissable all night long. Um, and then I'm going to throw on a foundation. This is L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation in Nude Beige. Just going to pop that on the back of my hand. Just one pump will do me. And then dot that around. And it's a pretty good match. I still go a little bit onto the neck. And then I'm going to blend that out using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Okay. And then I'm going to do my eyes and then apply my concealer. So for the eyes today, I am actually, I'm going to do my brows first. So this is my Maybelline Define a Brow in the medium brown shade. And I'm just going to run that through, starting kind of at the outer arch area. As you can see, I don't have a lot of natural eyebrow. So what I do is I go pretty strong, drawing them in with the pencil, and then I take a little spoolie and brush it out. Then the next thing I'm going to do to my brows is the Sonia Kashuk Tinted Brow Gel. I got it at Target. It's awesome. It's this really nice brow gel. It's like a taupe color. And I'm just going to put that on the top. And then I'm going to brush through the spoolie again, just so it doesn't look crazy. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo and inked in pink. This is pretty kind of metallic light pink color on my finger. I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to take my Rimmel Glam Eyes Quad in the color English Rose. Isn't that pretty? I wish they packaged this a little bit different so it was easier to actually get the colors. But the color we're going to be using is the one in that big cross. And we're going to take a flat brush and then pick up the color in the center, which is that light pink. And I'm going to pack that on my lid. That little area, I'm just going to put a kind of smaller sort of crease brush into all three of those colors. And then put that on the outer part of the lid. Okay, 
Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Knock on Wood Trio. These are the colors right here. And I'm going to be taking that darker color that says Eyelid. It's sort of a warm brown. And running that kind of in the outer V. And then a little bit in the crease. Okay. I'm going to blend that in using just a fluffy blending brush just to get that crease area soft again. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed in so you can kind of see what we're doing a little bit better. And then I'm going to take the matte brown shade from that same palette and a smaller crease brush. So the shade that's marked crease. Take a little bit of that. And I'm gonna go in and put that in the outer V. Just adding a little bit more darkness right through there and then into the socket a little. And then I'm going to take that clean blending brush and just blend that in. And these shadows are a little fallouty. Don't worry. We're going to clean that up when we do our concealer. So then last, I'm going to take just a flat, stiff brush and I'm going to use a Wet n Wild Color Icon Single in Brulee, which is like a matte cream white kind of color. I'm just going to put a little bit of that and then tap that in right at the brow bone. And then just blend that a little bit with a clean brush just to keep that crease soft. And then I'm going to take the same brulee color and pop it into the inner corner. And with so much like sparkly going on in the eye, I feel like it looks better to have a matte shade. So I'm gonna do the other eye, um, shadow, and then come back. Okay, so I've got the shadow on both eyes, and then I'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe. I'll wipe underneath, just right underneath the eye, and right around the outside area. Okay. The concealer I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I'm just dotting it around. Then I'm going to blend it out using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Got that on. And I'm just gonna actually use just a little bit of the Maybelline Age Rewind and the brightener, kind of down my nose, right through like the center of my face, kind of. And then blend that in. I really like this product. I feel like it does a, a nice job of kind of brightening up the face. And our light just changed, so suddenly I'm ghastly pale. So, sorry about that. 
Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and this is the color Sable. It's like a dark brown. It's one of these twist up pencils. And I'm going to go in my inner waterline. This is not the best pencil for the waterline, honestly. Just kind of want a hint of that, and then I'm going to go right on the top lash line. Then just kind of smudge that a little bit. And then I'm going to go back in and take the Rimmel palette, the darker colors through here, a small kind of flat brush, and just put a little bit of that underneath the lower waterline, like right on the lower lashes. Use that same color. Just kind of smoking that pencil out at the top. Just so it's not harsh. And then just make the tiniest line I possibly can with a liquid eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm gonna probably not be to look at you guys for a minute because I gotta look at me. <laughs> Just the tiniest line and the tiniest wing. And I'll do the other side. So I've got my liner on. Now I'm gonna apply my mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. I'm going to wipe it off because sometimes it has a little bit of extra on the brush and then put on a couple good coats. I've got my mascara. Now, um, for my face, I'm gonna do um, a little bit of just very light kind of bronzer, just hitting my face with some color. This is the Bronzer XL from NYC in the color Fake Tan. We're gonna be using this darker, more matte one, kind of a fluffy angled brush. And just kind of up into the hairline. And then I always do under my chin, a little bit along the jaw. And then for my blush, I'm gonna be using a cream blush. This is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And the color I'm using is called Pink Frosting. This is really pretty soft pink. And I'm just gonna be using a it's a Face Secrets bronzer brush, but the e.l.f. Um, duo fiber brush is really similar, anything like that. Just popping it in really lightly and putting that kind of on the back of my cheek. And then I'm just gonna, if it gets at some any point too dark or too crazy, just take your brush you used for your foundation and just use little circles to kind of just really mesh that in with the face. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to be using um, the Benefit Watts Up. It's just a little sample size I got at Sephora, but I want to go and get the full size. So I'm just putting that kind of through that C around the cheek bone. And then I do a little bit above my brow, right above the arch. And I keep it well. So I like it, it's not too glowy. I think it's very pretty. And then I am gonna set all this with my Smashbox Halo to Go powder and fair. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm only putting this where I just think I need it, which is like right through my nose. A little bit on the center of the forehead and the chin. 
I would dust whatever I have left right under my eyes. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do lips and that'll be it. So the lip color I'm using today, I'm gonna start with a Rimmel lip liner in the color East End Snob. I love that these have these little slants. They make it really easy to apply. I'm gonna wipe off whatever's left of my lip balm. With that, because it's a really soft, kind of neutrally pink. And then for my actual lipstick, I'm going to be using Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Pink in the Afternoon. Just applying it really softly. It's a nice color. And then the piece de la resistance is going to be my L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Gloss in Rich Pink. There's that. Okay, so there you have it. That's my finished look. I've got my little heart Valentine earrings. And um, I like it. I love how soft it is. You've got all those pinks and browns and that kind of rose gold tone. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you and yours have a great Valentine's Day. Even if you're just staying home by yourself, you know, put on a movie you love and makeup that makes you feel beautiful and find a way to enjoy the day because the greeting card holidays made it up anyway. So thanks for watching. Bye.